friends. So today we're going to try the new PC Insiders products that have come out for this summer in 2023. So I just bought a couple of products here to try. Uh, so we're going to go through them, we're going to show the prices, and so we're going to rank them, and we're going to let you know what we thought of them all. The first product we're going to try is the Carolina Gold Sauce Pork Back Ribs. They're fully cooked and they are $13. You get one rack in each package and you can cook it either on the barbecue or in the oven. I chose to do it in the oven. The main thing you need to know about these ribs is that the sauce is a very heavily mustard based sauce. I prefer a sweeter sauce but this was definitely more mustardy. Uh, it is very saucy so hopefully you like your ribs sauced well. You get three ribs for 380 calories, so that's not bad. It would be a really good quick dinner in the summer if you're just coming back from the beach and you just want to throw something in the oven. We gave it six out of 10. So the next product we're gonna try are the cookie dough ice cream bites. They cost $4.99. Uh, they are a vanilla chocolate chip ice cream wrapped in cookie dough. You get six bites in each package and it is 180 calories for two bites. So here they are out of their box. There is six little bites in individual compartments. You do need to eat them quick because they are ice cream so of course they will melt. Here you can see the little bite. The outside is just plain cookie dough just wrapped up almost like a little mochi and on the inside is the chocolate chip vanilla ice cream. Okay, and here it is cut in half. Now I will say, if you like raw cookie dough, you will like this. This was not my favorite though. I did find that you were biting down into sugar crystals, you know, that kind of gritty texture in your teeth. That was not my favorite. But if you love raw cookie dough, you definitely might like this. We gave it four out of 10. Our next product is the Filipino adobo chicken flavored chips. They cost $2.79. They're described as mild with a tangy flavor with a blend of garlic and soy. You get 20 chips for 260 calories. So this could be a nice side with a sandwich or with a burger for dinner. So let's see how they taste. And here they are. As you can see, they are a crinkle cut chip. They are very heavily spiced. You can see all those flecks of seasoning on both sides. Now we really like this. It was a flavor we had never really tried before. Um, it was kind of tangy and almost, it almost reminded me of paprika. It was a really interesting thing. I would definitely try them again. They'd be great with a sandwich. We gave them nine out of 10. So here is the four layer loaded pierogi dip. It costs $2.94. We were really looking forward to this one as we are big pierogi fans in our family. So we were really hoping that this one would be great. In this dip, there is cheddar cheese, sour cream, green onion, potato, bacon, and caramelized onion. And for two tablespoons of the dip, it is 60 calories. And there it is. You can see on top some of the cheddar cheese and the green onion. And so let's get a nice big scoop of that and see what we think. So here's the dip. And I have to say it was not good. It tasted pretty much just like watery mashed potatoes. Not at all like a pierogi. We gave it two out of 10. So next up is the lobster roll kit for $24.99. It comes with six sandwiches, which includes the six rolls, as well as a packet of the frozen lobster mix. You can either defrost it in the fridge overnight or put it under cool running water for about 20 minutes. It is 480 calories for three of the sandwiches. The package says that you can toast your buns, which we did. I did slightly burn mine, but that's okay. It also says to add some lettuce, which I did. I had some iceberg lettuce, so we added that. We did not like these at all. It was very watery, was overpoweringly tasting like celery. 
It didn't come with any kind of sauce for a very expensive product. We gave it one out of 10. Last up, we have the Filipino lumpia in the chicken adobo flavor. This costs $9.99. For two pieces, it is 200 calories. And the instructions say that you should cook it in the oven. And here they are in the package. They are much longer than I expected them to be. I thought they would be much shorter, so that was a nice surprise. They're not stuck together at all, and they're all in one piece, so they're looking good. Okay, so here it is. I chose to cook it in my air fryer. I put it in for six minutes at 400 degrees. It came out really crispy, which was really nice. The flavor was quite good. Uh, we did really enjoy this. I do wish that it came with some sort of sauce, maybe a sweet chili dipping sauce. Uh, they were just a little bit dry, but other than that, we definitely really enjoyed them. We gave them an 8 out of 10. So thanks for watching. If you'd like me to try some more of the new products in the 2023 Summer Insider Edition, just let me know down in the comments and we'll see you next time.